In this video, I want to explain the solution for the problem where you are asked to find linear approximation of the function, in this case it's 1 over x, and use it to approximate uh, some kind of number, in this case it's 1 over 1.04. Let's do this. First, let's review what is the formula for the linear approximation. L of x is f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. Let's choose some kind of number and we choose a equals 1. Why this is the case? Because a equals 1 is close to whatever they gave us, which is 1.04. And it's also easy to use. If you have square roots or 1 over or anything else, imagine using something different if, for example, 1.5 or 1.07, then it doesn't make your life easier. And the whole idea here is to try to calculate the result without using a calculator. Or at least if you're using a computer to make computer's calculations faster. So we're choosing a equals 1. And because it's close to whatever we're given and easy to use, then f of a, it's 1 over x, so it's 1 over 1, which is 1 f prime of x is negative 1 over x squared, so it gives us negative 1 when we plug 1. Then linear approximation becomes f of a will be just 1 minus 1, that's a derivative, times x minus 1. Let's simplify. It becomes 1 minus x plus 1, which is minus x plus 2 plus 2, yeah, it show up. And here's the graph uh, for you. Let me finish uh, signing it. This graph, I just used Wolfram Alpha. You can use any graphing tools. And I asked Wolfram Alpha to plot not only y equals 1 over x, but also the linear approximation, y equals minus x plus 2. And as you can see, it makes sense at 1, well, this is where we chose to create a linear approximation at 1. Indeed, the line, which is a tangent line, it touches our graph of the function at 1, really, really close to the function we're given, which is 1 over x. So if it is close to 1 over x, then if we need to calculate some numbers close to 1, and we are very close to 1, because we asked to calculate 1.04, then why not to use the easy function? And negative x plus 2 is way easier to use than 1 over x. So here is 1.04. And here is in the box our linear approximation. So this means that around x equals 1, only here, the function we are given, which is 1 over x, is uh, behaves just like a linear function, y equals negative x plus 2. That's why we call it linear approximation. So if they ask us to calculate 1.04, why would we use a hard function then? Let's use a linear one. And that gives us approximation. That's why the curly equals sign. And the approximation is 0 0.94 negative 1.4 plus 2. We're using this approximation. And the approximate result is 0 0.96. So this is a very interesting idea that instead of using something that has curves and uh, waves, we're using a line at a particular moment for particular approximation. If I want to approximate over here, which is say 0 0.5, the approximation is not going to be good anymore. You see this gap? That's an error. The bigger the error, the worse the situation. So for this place, I would choose a different point and create a new tangent line, which will be a new linear approximation of this function, but for different point, and so on. And there are several numerical methods that use linear approximation to keep calculating next and next and next steps, looking basically into the future, what is happening to find some inconvenient, um, the results for inconvenient inputs, we're using convenient functions, linear functions.